How's it going everyone? My name is Maximilian, and in just a few weeks, Street Fighter and Tekken will settle their differences in one of the biggest fighting game crossovers ever. Join us today as we cover the unique system mechanics of Street Fighter Cross Tekken, and break down the many options of using meter with this new gameplay system. You're watching Episode 2 of Crossover. Street Fighter Cross Tekken is bringing a lot to the table compared to fighting games of the past. While most fighting games are defined with a single gameplay mechanic, Street Fighter Cross Tekken uses several, making it one of the most diverse fighting games ever. But in order to take advantage of those system mechanics that could win you a fight, let's take a look at these individually to better understand what's going on in the inner workings of Street Fighter Cross Tekken. The first and feature you'll likely be seeing the most is called Cross Rush. The Cross Rush is tied into the new chain system of comboing for Street Fighter Cross Tekken. To refresh your memory, the chain system is executed by pressing light medium into heavy or medium into heavy of any of the attacks. Pressing heavy punch or heavy kick at the end of a chain once more will initiate the Cross Rush. The Cross Rush will send your opponent into the air with your teammate following right behind as you switch places and is easily one of the safest methods of bringing in your partner. But performing another chain combo into a cross rush with that partner will leave you unable to combo afterwards. And it's best to have a partner with high damaging special moves, as you cannot cancel into a special after a chain combo. You can only cancel into an EX move, which requires meter. But don't worry, we'll go into full detail about setting up and ending your combos with the highest damage possible later on crossover. Let's take a look at the next feature which is related to the cross rush, and it's the launcher. A launcher is performed by pressing heavy punch and heavy kick with any character. This will send the opponent flying and bring in your partner just like the cross rush. But the launcher does not require the chain combo beforehand and has a unique property. The lower and middle portions of your character are actually invincible when performing a launcher. This can make for some extremely tricky close quarter mix-ups. But if you guess wrong and your opponent chooses not to low attack, then you're left wide open and will eat some very serious damage. Using super arts also play a big role in doing damage. The command for executing a super art will be different for each character, and while they can be as damaging as their super counterparts in Street Fighter 4, super arts only cost 2 meters. But if you happen to end your super art in an extended combo, the damage will be much less. Those familiar to Street Fighter 4's multi-hit scaling will find this very familiar. Super Arts can also not be special cancelled, they can only be normal cancelled. This means that executing a Super Art after doing a special move will not work, but you can cancel it from select chains, normals, and combos. As an example of this, we'll use Kazuya's Heavy Punch and Heavy Kick Normal. The Heavy Kick cannot be special or super cancelled alone or in a combo, but the Heavy Punch can. End your combo or chain with Heavy Punch and you'll be able to cancel into Super. But there are ways of executing super arts without the use of meter. The next unique Street Fighter Cross Tekken system mechanic is called the Supercharge. And while you might be familiar with charge moves from previous games, it's much different here. To execute a supercharge, you initiate the same motion you would use for that character's super art. But instead of pressing all three punches and all three kicks depending on the super art, you only press one and you hold it down to initiate the charge. After charging for about two seconds, your character will spark and you'll be able to throw out an EX move. And if you continue holding it after about three seconds, you'll get the full super art. The super charge can be useful because either throwing out the EX or the super art itself will not cost any meter. In many ways, this mechanic is an easy-to-execute method of pulling off super arts for non-experienced players. But for you Street Fighter veterans, the supercharge can be a gateway to some very interesting tactics. Since your supercharge for each character technically is a special move, it means you can normal cancel it. Ending a block string with a supercharge cancel can lead to some very interesting mix-ups, and can also give you an opportunity to bait out your opponent. You can also perform an EX supercharge by holding down two buttons instead of one. The EX version comes out about twice as fast, and ends up being a one meter eating super if you get it out in time. But finally, there's one more very useful secret to the supercharge. 
While charging, get past the EX period by charging after about 2 seconds and then backdash or forward dash to exit the charge. Everything will appear like normal until you hit the opponent, and this hit will actually be a counter hit. Having a stored supercharged counter hit can be deadly, as it can lead to many more specific character combo opportunities and input leniency. Next up we have the Cross Art, which is a devastating level 3 attack that uses both of your teammates. And while being the most damaging single aspect to Street Fighter Cross Tekken, there are ways to optimize a Cross Art for even more damage. Since Cross Arts are different from Super Arts, they begin with an activation character and end with your teammate. The activating character's Cross Art will be a unique attack, but the ending characters will more resemble that of their Super Art. What makes this interesting is that depending on your team's selection and order, your Cross Arts will actually do more damage. Some characters will have more effective beginning Cross Arts than other characters who have more effective ending Cross Arts. As a brief example, here's a team with two characters as they switch the roles of who begins the cross art and who ends the cross art. The organization of your team can play a very important role later on, since cross arts can do 400 to 500 points of damage depending on your team. But there is another lethal and tactical use for the cross art other than just doing damage. In the previous video, we mentioned this recoverable health that characters have once they take damage. If that character is not on point, they'll recover their health points in the background. After connecting with this attack, it will remove any recoverable health the character has after the attack is complete. Other than being an extremely damaging attack, this can leave a team broken by having a character that could not recover their sub health. The Cross Assault is another method of using all of your Super Bar to bring in another character and execute damage. But this time, the character fights on screen with you. The universal command to start a Cross Assault is Quarter Circle Back with Medium Punch and Medium Kick. Once your teammate comes running in, you can barrage your opponent with a flurry of attacks from both characters. However, when playing alone, you will not be able to control the other character. Using the Cross Assault is more designed for the new multiplayer system features of Street Fighter Cross Tekken, which allow you to play the game co-op with a friend. And in this scenario, you and your buddy will individually control each character. But worry not, we'll fully break down the multiplayer and new mode features of Street Fighter Cross Tekken in a later episode of Crossover. But for now, let's break down the many and effective ways of using meter in Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Using meter is very important in this game. It builds quickly, and you use it quickly. But similar to Capcom games of the past, you actually build meter by executing normal moves whether they hit or miss. Of course, building meter on a block string or a combo will gain you more, but you can also gain small fractions by whiffing normal or special moves. But it's important to understand what you're going to be using your meter on and what is effective. So, let's begin. One of the best and least expensive uses of meter is called switching. Switching is performed similar to the tag, by pressing medium punch and medium kick. But instead, you press the buttons during normal or special moves and your partner will come running in switching places. This leads to several unique damaging combo possibilities and offers a quick opportunity to recover some of your partner's health. Next up are the super arts and the cross arts. Super arts require two bars and cross arts will take all three. And while they're the most damaging attacks in the game, putting them at the end of long combo strings can sometimes be an ineffective use of all your meters. Supers and cross arts can be very effective for short combos or chains because it leads to effective and easy damage. The Cross Assault will also use all three of your bars, but is best used for specific setups and situations. But if you're playing Street Fighter Cross Tekken multiplayer co-op with a friend, it can be very damaging and a good use of three bars. EX moves in Street Fighter Cross Tekken also cost one bar, and can sometimes have much greater invincibility than their special move counterparts. For select characters, they also set up interesting juggles, which can lead to very damaging combos as well. And last but not least is the one meter eating alpha counter. To execute this move while blocking, you press forward and then heavy punch and heavy kick. Your character will perform an attack that'll send the opponent flying and will give you time to tag out or move in place for a mix up. But executing an alpha counter can be pretty difficult as you have to go from holding back to forward within just a few frames. 
So let's do a quick recap of the more important elements of meter usage. You can whiff, select normal and special moves to build meter. Switching only costs one bar and sets up for many combo opportunities and mix-ups. While expensive supers or cross hearts are best put at the beginning of combos or short chains. And that'll just about bring us to the conclusion of the second episode of Crossover. But be sure to subscribe and stay tuned, as there's much more to cover with Street Fighter Cross Tekken. Next time, we'll be checking out the character sacrificing element called Pandora Mode, and we'll also cover the gem system, covering the types of loadouts you need to use for your playstyle and the types of characters you choose for your team. But I'd like to thank you all very much for watching. This has been Maximilian, and I'll see you next time on Crossover.